Hello, this is Rob and Dave from Back to the Podcast. Say hi, Dave. Hello. And we're here wishing you a happy holidays, whatever holidays you subscribe to. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. So we thought that we would come on and, of course, wish you happy holidays. And Dave and I would like to give a shout out for our favorite non-traditional Christmas-themed movie or special. Special? What What? What else could there be a special of Home Alone 4? No, 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 no. I My tastes are a little bit different. Oh. I, my favorite can't be found in the movie movie theater but uh, uh, dave why don't we, why don't we start with you what was your favorite non-traditional christmas movie well my pick is pretty you know it's it's on the top of almost every list that exists and i'm was bouncing back and forth between two of them but i will stick with the one that has a little more christmas in it and i'm gonna go with gremlins as being one of my favorite non-traditional christmas movies uh it's a creature feature little you get your little pet mogwai thing and then you know gizmo follow the rules don't get it wet don't feed it after midnight and they don't like bright lights what's the worst that could happen well you get them wet and they multiply like a lot and and, become evil and and they're evil ones Mm -hmm. and then if you feed them after midnight they cocoon and turn into little gremlins that go around terrorizing this little town they terrorize it and all this is going on during christmas so you got your christmas lights you get the snow for the atmosphere feeling you have uh the christmas trees you you, you just got so many things that are screaming christmas at this movie and one of my favorite parts is when the old mrs deagle goes to it looks like she's gonna throw water on the uh carolers it turns out they're the gremlins singing the gremlin theme is the (laughs) carols and it just goes on from there it has some christmas songs in it and it which helps the mood for it to be all christmas feeling and th- that's it it's you know not much to it it's a fun little movie i enjoy it a lot i still remember being scarred by that movie with the guy who gets dragged into the mailbox and killed by a gremlin and oh we don't know if he died or not oh he died he totally died and then the with the big reveal of uh, spike coming out of the pool in the light and skeletonizing that was cool. oh it does have that story oh i I forget too it's got that tragic like the phoebe kate's character yes has that like flashback of when her father disappeared and it turns out that he's gonna surprise everybody during christmas and go down the chimney and it turns out that he slipped broke his neck and he's in the oh i guess in the chimney very christmassy right there yeah which, just a santa Ugh. which in the sequel they pretty much made fun of all the nonsense that the first movie did by uh satiring it itself in the sequel so what is your non-traditional christmas Mine is the Star Wars Holiday Special. Oh my. Oh yeah. I'm not a huge fan of most of the movies that have Christmas in them. Although there are some tasty choices in movies like Die Hard and everything. I just love the Star Wars universe and the Holiday Special brought some humor to it, which was nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't good. Whip, 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 stir, stir, stir. stir. Whip, 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 stir. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, the acting was bad. The, uh, uh, the, the overall story was kind of sad, but like I said, there was some fun things. Uh, Harrison Ford was bored, but not completely terrible. And uh, Are you nope. going to give me a paycheck, George? Right. And Mark Hamill sounded sincere, despite the fact that he was wearing more makeup than a Max Factor ad. You know, Carrie Fisher sang a song to the Star Wars theme. She, she wasn't in the right mind, but that's fine. But yeah, it, it had the first appearance of Boba Fett in an animated short. It had some characters to it which was nice and uh, it was all about life day which i have a fond memory from playing star wars galaxies life day was the annual holiday celebration that they had with with events and such so i you know, i still still have good feels about it it's also i love bad movies so i can laugh at the badness and get a good chuckle from it that's my favorite holiday themed christmas special well i never would have thought you would have picked that one but yeah, i've seen that more than what i should have but every now and then <laughs> i am tempted to take a peek at just to remember 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> the show that George Lucas himself said if he had the time and a sledgehammer, he would go around, find every single copy, and destroy it. And that's for bootlegs come in. <laughs> he can't possibly get out. It, it, our... It's available on YouTube, or at least the last time I watched it, it was. And you're there's going... there's half a hundred different sites that host it, too. Yeah. yeah. Conventions will sell copies of it here and there. Sure. I, I just remember the beginning and I couldn't believe. 15 minutes of Wookie growling? Yes. <laughs> no dialogue, just Wookie growling. And not even captioning either. It nope. was just, you know, hoo, hoo, hoo. It, was, it was it. It was all that you had in that, that first couple minutes. Like I said, it wasn't good, but it was just some nice feels. If you ever wanted B. Arthur in Star Wars, that's what you got to watch. <sighs> Sings a song too. Yeah, she does. But anyhow, actually, the song was pretty good. Yeah, it was. It's a song. She was a she was a saloon owner, and it was a good, solid kind of a body song. But I do believe the special was written by people who do put together music, dance, and show stuff. So it, right. it, it fit what they did to a T, but maybe not necessarily what the Star Wars world needed at the time. As long as you don't take the things you love too seriously, you can afford every once in a while to enjoy some nice satire even unintentional satire yes so those are our picks once again we thank you for listening and uh, hope that you have a wonderful holiday season and next time you get a hankering to relive some of your favorite old movies we hope that you think to go back to the podcast happy holidays everyone